for a chance with a Japanese team, let's go. Last year I got gold free, could I beat that this time? Here's the team I was using for most of it, and game 1 I decided to use Nishikara in gold instead of Higashiguchi, but unfortunately I lost 3-0. Game 2, of course, uh, I again lost 3-0. Game 3 was a tricky one, I managed to almost score here, I mean look at this, the goalkeeper saves, I take a shot, hits the bar, and then Maeda just misses, oh it's so close, so annoying this one, but I do manage to score early on with a goal from Maeda, and I take another goal to get the 2-0 lead, but unfortunately I do lose 5-2, but here we are, game 4, could this go any better, a nice goal from Nakata to start us off to equal it up to 1-0 in this one. And then uh, Nakata runs through, looks like he's through on goal. We get some lucky lag here, this was a very laggy game, as you can see with that leg spike. And Maeda, almost, and he does manage to score there. And it ends up 2-1, but unfortunately it didn't count, which was very annoying. But we have game 5 here. We go through with Kubo, cut back, very nice goal there from Kubo. Um, but yeah, it was a, a division rival. Game 5, I went 2-0 down early on. This goal from Maeda was very nice, but unfortunately couldn't pull it back and I lost 4-2. <laughs> yeah, Game 7. The final score on this one was 5-2, just a quick 5-2 loss. Game 8 uh, was a win for 2-1, but unfortunately I lost the footage. Game 9 was a good goal from Maeda to start us off, and another goal from Maeda, and then I managed to score a hat-trick with Maeda. Very, very good game. 3-0 win. Game 10 was pretty good as well, managed to get a goal from Nakata with this one very nice but unfortunately I did lose 4-2 in the end of, the, of that one. Game 11, a uh, good rainbow flick to start us off from Kubo Yamaguchi over to Nakata to take a 1-0 lead before uh, managed to score in the form of Maeda with a very nice goal, get another one here. Uh, once again from Maeda, bottom left, very good, and Nakata with another good goal to finish it off. Uh, but he does get it back to 4-3 and the game ended like this, absolute madness, but I do manage to hang on for 4-3. Game 12 uh, was against a good team, um, and Nakata scores an early goal, and I do manage to win 2-1. Game 13, uh, over to Maeda for this one, and he does score an early goal after I'd already conceded. Unfortunately, I lost 3-1, couldn't pull it back. Game 14 was another uh, another good one, and uh, this is after I put pace chemistry styles on Nakajima and Kubo, and Maeda f starts off here after a really good run from Nakajima, uh, but I did lose 4-3 in the end. Game 15 um, was a good one from Maeda after a good run from Nakajima again. He's worked wonders after I changed his chemistry style. Nagai with a brilliant goal to equal it up to 2 all. Uh, it was very close. Um, Nakata manages to play through Nakajima, I get very lucky to make it 3-2, but I end up losing 5-3. Yeah, so this is after I gave Nakajima and Kubo some good pace. So, Nakajima crosses it in to Nagai, and that was a good goal to start us off. Nakajima, once again with a cross tactic, uh, this time it does fall to Nakata, and he easily finishes that off. And it ended 2-0, which is a very good game. Uh, game 17, uh, I had 70% possession by half time, which was a very good start. Um, and it did end 2-1 and game 18 uh, starts off with Maeda running through with a very nice finish there um, managed to get another one here as well Kubo bottom left easy very easy win there 2-1 game 19 was uh, a 3-0 loss <laughs> game 20 um, was a good one Kubo you can just see his pace here he just absolutely destroyed people after I changed his chemistry to pass it back to Maeda easy goal Maeda was absolutely smashing it gives it to Nakajima here he does um, some good running Nakajima finesses you're not going to stop him 73% possession as you can see there but uh, unfortunately I end up losing to this goal I mean look at it what is going on there 4-3 loss which was just a nightmare right game 21 was a bit different rebound gives a Maeda a chance and I do end up winning that game 1-0 game 22 was another 3-0 loss I lost game 23 and 24 pretty easily game 25 however was a better situation M Nakata got the ball here yeah he's never gonna miss that really is he not a prime moment uh, I did win that game 2-0 game 26 final score was 2-0 unfortunately just a quick loss game 27 uh, was 3-2 down but Maeda with a very nice goal and yeah this was um, the winning goal from Kubo very nice uh, yeah very very good goal yeah 4-3 win there game 28 
was another good game. Nagai ran through, did some skills, gave it to Nakata. Nope, Nakajima with a very good goal. Silver 3 was achieved. Unfortunately, could not get to goal 3 with the amount of time I had. Here's my player pick if you're interested. Managed to get Diego Gordin. Um, as he is known, fits into my team. Well, I changed my team to fit him in. Top scorer was Maeda. Most assists from Nagai. Most man of matches from Nakata. Yeah, this team was pretty good. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to replicate my last year's finish. But, you know, still a good team and a good finish and yeah thanks for watching everyone just a quick video um liga mx silver team will be coming out soon so make sure to keep watching for that but yeah thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you next time